The follow-up is simple. Ask a question, listen to the answer, then follow up. I'm your host, Noah Kozlov. Enjoy. Hi, and thanks for hanging out with us on another episode of the Follow-Up Podcast. I'm Noah. This is my six-year-old daughter, Eden. We have a new episode, Topic Her Choice, every Monday. You can listen on Apple Podcasts. That's where you can also leave a rating and review and share with your friends if you just want to listen. But you can also watch vocalnow.com, V-O-K-A-L-Now.com, also on Vocal's Roku channel. Last week, we hinted at what we might be talking about this week. So let's reveal it. What are we talking talking about this week? National Artichoke Day! (laughs) (laughs) So would you say National Artichoke Day is one of your favorite holidays? Yeah, because I love eating artichokes. And... We had them last week, so, and they're just my favorite, like, favorite appetizer, and they're simple to make, and you can make simple sauces also to go with that. Okay, so, let's go back. Yeah. Every day in this country is a national something. Something day. It's wacky. It's National Something Day. Right. (laughs) (laughs) Would it be funny if there was National Something Day? It's not quite three. They ran out of things, so they said, ah, today's National Something Day. (laughs) (laughs) So you've written a whole bunch of them down on your calendar. Yeah. And we'll we'll show show the folks what what other fun days are, but not yet. So we think it's fun to celebrate some of these some of these days. Wacky, crazy days. Right, so, Scribble Day. <laughs> well, but we celebrated National well, Day. Cinnamon Bun Day. Cinnamon Bun Day. Or Sticky Arch- Bun Day or something like that. Yeah. Sticky Bun Day. National Artichoke Day. All those. It's fun. Yeah. It's fun. You, you can get creative with recipes. Okay, so before we get artichoke. into the artichoke, you want to... Here you go. So yeah. this is your calendar. So this what is else? March. There's a lot of things that are crazy in March. There you go. Okay, so... What are some things? This is your Penn State calendar. Yeah, I'm ready. Right, so, how about um, National? Uh, what about? Oh, but na- what about one, what oh, about on the twentieth, March twentieth? National Corn Dog Day. We did not and celebrate. On on the sixteenth, it was National Artichoke Day, but it was National Artichoke Hearts Day. I wonder if there's an actual Artichoke Day. So yeah. coming up this week. Okay, so on Tuesday is National Puppy Day. We don't have the puppy. Nash, uh, on on <laughs> Wednesday? Cheesesteak day. <laughs> and if we were in Philadelphia. You would get Del Yep, Dad, Grandpa, and I would go to Del Sandro's and get cheesesteak with mushrooms, onions, homemade hot peppers. Woo! And Friday. National Spinach Day. <laughs> Saturday? Scribble <Scribble-day>. Day. <laughs> so, it's just like all these random Yeah, it's kind of fun. Yeah. Kind of fun to celebrate those days. Okay, so artichokes. I grew up eating artichokes. I love artichokes, and you can eat them any number of ways. Yeah. You like them steamed, and so steaming an artichoke is very easy to do. You so here's the artichoke. Yeah. Okay, so what you do is you cut off the stem mm-hmm. right back here. You cut that off where it's flat. Then you cut off the ver- you cut off the tips. Of the artichoke. Just the tips so off the like top. Pointy? Straight across. Yeah. What about here? No. Nope. Just straight across the top. Okay. okay. Like that much. And then put in a little bowl of water. And you could steam it just like any other vegetable. But you put in a little bowl of water and take a lemon, mm-hmm. a little slice of lemon, and rub it all over it so it doesn't get browned. So just kind of... Uh-huh. Mm. And then I usually put the lemon on the bottom and okay. sit the artichoke on the lemon in a little bit of water, yeah. put it in a microwave for about four, four and a half minutes if you're just cooking one. Done. Great. And then you want to show how you eat it? So what you do... And then you can talk about sauces. But I should have taken it out. No, no, you can't take it out. No. Yeah, so what you do is you just kind of... It will open up when mm-hmm. you cook it. You take one. Take one. Is, you, what are they called? Um, leaves. Mm-hmm. And if you have a sauce, like I usually... Use butter sauce or butter lemon sauce. Mm-hmm. Let's take it and, and to be clear, butter sauce sounds pretty fancy. It's just melted butter. Yeah. Okay. So I know I've been thinking that like we had some sort of fancy butter sauce. It just melted butter. Or butter. So here you could also use um, balsamic vinegar. You, you could, could use, use a balsamic um, vinaigrette. You could use um, what is it with like the. Uh, 
You could use like Dijon mustard yeah, or Dijon like a honey mustard. mustard. What's honey? What was the combination of honey mustard that you had? We did like a honey mustard with um, uh, sesame oil once, which was really which oh, yeah. was really good. I don't like that. Yeah. So uh, you could yeah. take you take one, dip it in, but the piece that like is a little like out that's standing out that looks soft like it part, has yeah. soft. And then you just you get your teeth, you turn it over so it's looking like this, mm-hmm. and you scrape it. Yeah, you scrape it. Like, and then it, you should have another bowl, and then you throw the leaf in. Right, and you discard those, and yeah, okay. And then you get down to the heart. Get down to the heart. Which is, the heart is the base, in the base of the artichoke. And that's the hardest part to eat, because you have to clean it. You got to clean it out. There are all these little hairs. Mm-hmm. And so what you do is you take a spoon. We really should have done like a full instructional video yeah. on this. Take a spoon and very delicately remove the hairs, mm-hmm. and then you can then you have a full yeah. artichoke heart. It's like yeah. it's nice and meaty. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So, mom and I also for the first time now I feel like produce peep. <laughs> they're out there and they're available. <laughs> so mom and I for the first time roasted them. Oh yeah. This week and. I didn't realize how long it was going to take you. And they I, were also sweet. Yeah, they were. They were definitely sweeter. Opened up a, a thing of tin foil, put olive oil in it, and then rubbed the olive oil from the tin foil all over the artichoke. <laughs> and it opened up the artichoke a bit and t- put two um, garlic cloves in there and then put it in the oven on, I forget what it was, maybe 425 or something or 400 for an hour and 20 minutes. It's a long time. And and the, yeah, and they were good. We also then made a pasta, yeah, with artichokes. M- with artichokes. <laughs> so we got okay. It was those marinated artichoke hearts, which you can get anywhere. Yeah. And we made a sauce with those and a little bit of olive oil and garlic and it's a little a, bit of pepper. Good, it was nice. Yeah, and it's a good sauce to make. Like you can make that on just regular pasta. Uh huh. Yeah, so we did. We made it with um, spaghetti. And talking about sauce, has garlic in it, I think what made this artichoke um, sweeter. When I roasted it? What, when you roast garlic, it's sweet. So if mm-hmm. you put that in here, then that, all that flavor from the, ar- from the garlic goes on the artichoke. Yeah, it permeates the, yeah, it spreads around. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. We had also made another artichoke pasta dish a few weeks ago with the artichoke hearts. And it was like that, we saw it in, I think, in Real Simple Magazine. It was that creamy artichoke pasta dish that the had lemon. the lemon and a lot of butter <laughs> and uh, and a bunch of Parmesan cheese. Yeah. It was actually a cup of Parmesan cheese. It was a lot of, it was a lot of Parmesan cheese. Mm-hmm. That one was, was so buttery that uh, not one that I could eat very often. That Did one. you eat the other one often? Yeah, I like that one. Maybe I... Maybe I'd add a little bit of cheese to that this last one because we didn't yeah. have any cheese in it. Yeah. But artichokes are fun. And amazing taste. <laughs> yeah. So that's how we celebrate National Artichoke Day. Mm-hmm. Or National Artichoke Hearts Heart Day. Day. So when do you think you're going to learn how to clean an artichoke heart so that you can give me yours and I'm not always giving you mine? Uh, <laughs> what do you think? I don't know. I think it should be like part of the elementary school curriculum. Mm-hmm. Like you learn addition, subtraction, multiplication, tell time. And then you clean artichokes. Clean artichokes. <laughs> Why not? It's kind of like, it's hard to clean artichoke hearts, but you just have to kind of use the spoon and like, it's basically like you're scooping something out of a bowl, but you need to scrape the edges. Mm-hmm. It's like, there you go. Come on. You're not eating it. <laughs>